No, it was obviously fantastic, you know, 17 points, but seven steals and her defensive pressure. I said Amari would start at, you know, nine or ten of the teams in our league at point guard, not because they don't have great point guards, but because she is a great point guard. And she never lets her ego, she never gets upset, she understands different roles that she has, and she tries hard really every day. And you're seeing the Amari right that, you know, we recruited and that really is a heck of a basketball player, and I'm proud of her because it's only about winning with Amari. It's never about anything else. Yeah, this is the first, you know, g game where I think, you know, most of our kids were healthy, and we're still missing two kids that are talented as well, and Kayla and Allie. But, you know, we got Victoria back. You know, she's going to be a little while before she really gets into her flow. But Amari's healthy. You know, um, Azana Baines is getting healthier. Kay Safield's, you know, getting healthy. Um, even you could see Sydney's getting her win back. So it's, it's important um, that the bench has helped us a lot through the year, and now that we're healthy, I, I think you see a different team. <laughs> yeah, I, I told Sydney at halftime that I wasn't pleased with her establishing herself in the first half. And what I love about Sydney is Sydney understands, you know, criticism or constructive, you know, teaching. And she's like, "No, you're right." And um, we showed a couple of clips on, at halftime. Um, Mike Lofner, our um, uh, video guy is tremendous and we showed Sid a couple things that were getting her out of, out, out of place. They were doing a good job. So Sid made some adjustments like you know most great players do and um, Jose designed a couple plays to get her the ball and we did and she did her thing. But she's a really good player and well, I was really impressed with her, Jane. She had 12 rebounds today and that's, that was important. I mean, not, I mean she's the best. I mean, I, I think she's one of, we have some great players in the Big East, but I wouldn't trade her for anybody. I, I love her as a person, but I love her as a player, a leader. She wants to win. She gets us ready to play. There's no let up in practice. There's no like, ah, oh, you know, I'm tired. We're ready to go. And that's because of Lauren. Yes, get them out of the rhythm, get them away from the car, um, the, uh, the, the basket, make them have to make seven, eight, nine, ten passes in what they want to do, but not in shooting areas. And I think, you know, while you know, usually try and rest a little bit on offense, they were exerting a lot of energy on offense, which I think, you know, affected them a little bit defensively. Yes, when you have a great point guard like Lauren and another great point guard like Amari and a great ball handler like Shea Hagens, like we, we better not turn the ball over. And, and we struggled with that early in the year, you know, Adam. And, and I think, you know, we're learning to value the ball, getting the ball into the right people's hands, stepping to the ball, doing what we're supposed to do. And, and I think on the, on the other end, we generate a lot of our points through, you know, them committing 21 turnovers. And us, I think we outscored them 32 to 6 in points off turnovers. That's, you know, that's big. You're not going to score a lot of points on St. John's because they're good defensively. And while we scored 72 tonight, 32 of them came off, you know, stealing the ball probably and scoring. They are, Adam, and I give a lot of credit to Zonda Baines, a tremendous player, didn't get to play a lot tonight. Case Harfield, a tremendous player, didn't get to play a lot. Jalen Jordan, a tremendous player, didn't get to play a lot. Alexia Lesh, a tremendous player, didn't get to play a lot. Like, those kids are our core kids, and we like to play all nine of them. And tonight, Amari was rocking and rolling, and we just wanted to keep defensive pressure so they didn't get to play. But they were cheering, they were supporting their teammates, and they've helped us win the game before, and they're going to help us win the next game. So, yeah, you know, Adam, the kids were really excited. Um, you know, they, they, they want, excited because they played well. You know, obviously we beat a very good basketball team, but we feel we're a very good basketball team, but we're excited because we played well. And I think that's a big thing for the kids. And they shared the ball. I think we shot, you know, 52%. Uh, and I think those things are important. And we hit some big shots we needed to. Shea Hagen's had a big three. Just, you know, they were making a little bit of a run and we always found a way to answer. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, we have had a great crowds all year. And during break, it's been amazing. And the Pirate fans of Faithful came out. I was really, really happy for them I, I, and really thankful for them. And I always compliment our dance team, our band, and our cheerleaders because even during break, they're all here. Like, that makes a big difference. Even their head coach said to me before the game, he goes, geez, you know, no one wants to play here. And, like, he meant it as a compliment. And it's great. We'll have over 1,000 people during break. And this place was rocking and rocking and rocking. And I was just so pleased and, and thankful. I thank you for our administration for getting a lot of groups to come, our staff. We had a lot of teams here tonight. Um, you know, our, our, our video guy, Michael, had over 150 people from the local Y come. Like, everyone's working. And it's, you know what, it's, we're a fun team to watch. I mean, listen, LP is worth the price of admission herself. But everybody is. And, and these kids really love each other. And that's why it's not selfishness. It's about each other. So, you know, I know on Sunday against the Providence team to just be great. And congratulations, Coach Crowley. I'm really happy for him. Like, we know we're going to have to have six or seven or eight or nine or 10 or 11, 12, 13 people be ready to play. And, you know, at the end of the day, the crowd was amazing. And really, without the crowd, it really is hard for us. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. We played good tonight.